Dragon Frame 5 adds the ability to shoot with more than one camera. There are a few ways you can use this feature, and the first we're going to look at is setting up multiple cameras for a multi-angle shot, capturing high-res images from each camera. So, to set this up, we're going to go to the Scene menu and choose Cameras, or the Capture menu and choose Configure Additional Cameras. In this camera setup, we press Add Camera, and then say Yes to adding a new exposure. Our first camera was the Canon EOS R, and now for our second camera, we're going to connect a Canon EOS 7D. And we want to make sure that it's selected for the Video Assist and Capture Source. Over in the Cinematography workspace, we added an exposure, X2, and assign a camera 2, or C2, to it. We can add additional exposures and assign whichever camera we want to them. Now you can only have one camera assigned to each exposure. For this demo though, we're going to keep it simple and have two exposures, X1 and X2. When you click on an exposure, the live view switches to that camera, and we can change the settings for it. I like my settings for exposure 1, for camera 1. For camera 2, that's looking a little dark. That's better. Back in the animation workspace, we have some new features. We have a selector here, 1 or 2, to switch between the live view of the two cameras. You can toggle between these by pressing the number 3 key on the keypad twice, a double tap. You'll also notice if you have the guide layers up that C1 and C2 show at the top. This lets you switch between the cameras. And what you also see over here is that each camera has separate composition guides, and drawing layers, and media layers. Let's take our first shot. DragonFrame captured the video assist from camera 1, and then from camera 2, and then captured the high-res frame for exposure 1, and then a high-res frame for exposure 2, which comes from the second camera. Let's animate another frame. We can see our live view here from camera 1 and make adjustments. And then we can also switch to camera 2 and see how it's looking there. Looks good. If we come back to the cinematography workspace, we can now see high-res images for exposure 1 from camera 1 and for exposure 2 from camera 2. Another use case for multiple cameras is to set up an alternate video assist angle for the animator. This is sometimes called a witness camera. The setup for a witness camera is exactly what we've already done, except we don't need to capture a high-res image. However, DragonFrame needs an exposure so that you can use it to set the camera's settings. So in this example, we would just disable X2, but leave it here so that the animator can adjust the levels of the live view. In the animation workspace, we have camera 1 and camera 2, just as we did before. But when we capture a high-res image, we only get the high-res for X1. 